Monetary Unit has had several hits of this 1888 level recently. Big move today. It's the only real big gainer you're going to find on cryptos against Bitcoin. And it has pulled back a little bit, but most of them are down or in bearish setups. And if you're saying that it's not fair, well, in this case, this is fair. And with Faircoin, when you have a situation when you move to a key support level, you have a little rally. Oh, didn't work. Try again. Oh, double shot. That's like a double top. However you want to look at it. Not very bearish for the short term. Or it's looking like another leg lower should occur with Fair. The Dow Jones Industrials. Well, it's a symmetrical triangle, but I don't feel like talking about non-crypto related uh, funds in this video. And welcome to the four minute morning for today, which is the 15th day of March. It's also crypto day. And within the Bitcoin price, the double top formation, which is bearish, you're either, uh, well, you're looking forward to go down and make a key move, which it kind of did minimum level, pierce below the next Fibonacci mark. But now that it has had four days of resistance within this point, big battle within this 18 average for if it wins, and bullishly if it wins that means we get to it hold the 18 average of lows eventually get above it and start to make at least a few patterns of higher highs and higher lows and test one or two of these key upper lines but if you notice that the 18 average is won by the bears on the next rally and price action falters within the 18 lows i would be expecting a test towards the next 6000 level since it has now came down to this key uh, 8000 point and we're supposed to have some support here now if we don't and it hasn't done much yet then i would expect it to go down here relatively fast within a day or two litecoin actually has a noticeable up move but it's still in a relatively same spot as it's leaving the 18 average of lows like bitcoin exact same analysis as far as its test upcoming and if it falters we'll be looking to go down to previous low here at 110 and if it can succeed this 18 average of highs test get above it hold and stay above it we'll be looking to test between 277 and 377. As far as Litecoin against Bitcoin, it's right now in this correctionary battle between the bulls and the bears getting above 0.0207. Will look like the bulls will get the win. And if this 18 average of lows currently priced in at 0.01888 falters, then it looks like uh, the bears will have a win and will look to test down a little lower. Against Ethereum, however, we got a nice pattern where current price action at around 0.2, well, current price, has had many resistance hits, several uh, higher lows recently. This thing looks like it might be ready to push up to the one third value of Ethereum after finding support rather than resistance at a major Fibonacci level at 0.232. And finally, let's take a look at NAM XEM doing its Fibonacci thing. Perfectly not finding support here. And I say perfectly in that it kept going down towards the key level. It really, it really wasn't that fast as far as num number of days, but there was many red down days and it stayed well below the 18 average of lows on every single day. So that was a fast move after not finding support in my book. And then it comes up to this key uh, res level as resistance and now it's coming down to a correctionary phase. Huge, huge test because if it can get above it, then that would be all the stages needed for a reversal. Band flattening out, establishing resistance, coming back to the band and then breaking above it for a new uptrend. But if all of that fails and the 18 average of lows falters, then I'd be looking at this early March rally as a failed breakout with the most likely event of a fast move lower coming thereafter. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a magnificent crypto day. Bye-bye.